We discovered now the map of the Mercury vineyard. As you can see, the main orientation of the vineyard is north northeast, south southwest. It's exactly the same orientation that the Côte Chalonnaise vineyards. But the particularity of Mercury is that the vineyard is divided in two parts by a large valley that we call locally the Val d'Or. But it will be too easy because on each side of the valley we can also find some small ones which are merging down to the main valley, such as the one coming from Les Montelons, the one coming from Le Clos l'Evêque, also the one coming from Chamiret, and the one coming from the small hamlet of Touche. Let's talk about the geology. The particularity of Mercury is that the vineyard is settled on sediment. Those sediments date from the secondary era. They have been formed during the Jurassic period. It lasts about 50 million of years. And of course, when the Alps came out, all has been compressed and broke down in thousands of pieces. That explains why you will find lots of different types of soil and subsoil here in Mercury. Indeed, the geologists counted no less than five different types of Mars and ten different types of limestone. But to be a little bit easier, let's say that we can have, we can find five different types of soil and subsoil here in Mercury. For the first family, we are speaking about soil which are less than 1 meter 20 centimeters deep and they are settled on hard compact limestone. They are located mostly on the north part of the vineyard, but we found some also in the south. They covered about 270 hectares and few examples of them. We can mention Les Montelons, La Framboisière, La Perrière, La Mission, which overlook Le Clos du Roi, and En Sassenay. The second one represents 190 hectares. The subsoil is made of marl, which is covered by shallow limestone pebbles. Let's give a few examples. Creux de Montelon, La Caillute, Les Groichots, Le Clos des Barreaux, Les Vasés, and in the small village of saint martin sous montaigu Le Clos de Montaigu. The third group is also based on marl or limestone, rock, but is a mixture of pebble and red or brown soil. It can be between 40 and 2 meters deep. 100 hectares of vines are located on those soils, such as Les Combins, Le Closeau, Les Crais, Le Clos l'Evêque, Le Clos du Roi, and in the south part, La Chassière and the Clos de Paradis. This specific area is very well known for its reddish soil. The soil is very, very dark and red. The soils of the four family are made of clay. They are deep, over 1 meter 50 centimeters, and they have no limestone. They cover 70 hectares. They include Le Bois Cassien, La Corvée, and Le Chloron. The last one concerns the soils, which are quite deep, with no limestone. They are located on both sides of the valley, and they're coming from the erosion of the slopes. They are located on Chamiré and on each side of the river. Generally speaking, the vineyard of Mercury is very well protected from the western wind. Now I'm sure that you can understand better why with so many types of soil, altitude, exposure, we can find a such a great diversity in the expression of the wine of Mercury.